Today, we will be learning the multiplication properties and division rules. Our first multiplication property is the commutative property of multiplication. The commutative property of multiplication says that when multiplying, the order of the factors does not change the product. For example, if we have 3 times 6 equals 18, we can change the order of the factors to 6 times 3, and it will not change the product. 6 times 3 is still 18. Next, we have the identity property of multiplication. The identity property of multiplication says when any number is multiplied by 1, the product is that number. For example, 5 times 1 equals 5. So 5 is multiplied by 1, the product is 5. Or if 8 is multiplied by 1, the product is 8. So any number multiplied by 1, the product will be that number. Third, we have the zero property of multiplication. The zero property of multiplication says when any number is multiplied by zero, the product is zero. So if four is multiplied by zero, the product is zero. If seven is multiplied by zero, the product is zero. So any number multiplied by zero, the product is zero. Now we have our division rules. We have two of them. The first is zeros in division. It says, when you divide zero by any non-zero number, the quotient is zero. So if we have zero divided by six, we get zero. Zero divided by two is zero. If we have nothing and we split it up between people, Everyone gets nothing. So no matter how many groups we put nothing into, there's still nothing to give to anyone. So if we divide zero by anything that's not zero, the quotient is zero. So why do we say by any non-zero number? Well, let me tell you. Let me get my red pen out. It is not possible to divide a number by zero. So if we have 6 divided by 0, we can't do that. It's not possible. If I have 6 apples, I can't put them in 0 places or give them to 0 people or put them in 0 groups. They have to be at least somewhere. They have to be in one group. So it just doesn't work. 6 divided by 0 is not possible. If you still don't believe me, let's check our work with multiplication. So what times 0 equals 6? Well, nothing times 0 can equal 6. Because anything times 0 is going to be 0. So it's not possible. And if you still don't believe me, you should. Because it is not possible to divide a number by 0. Last of all, we have 1's in division. Ones in division says when you divide any number by 1, the quotient is always the dividend. So if we have 4 divided by 1 equals 4. 4 divided by 1. So if we divide 4 by 1, the quotient is going to be the dividend. So 4. Ones in division also says when you divide any non-zero number by itself, the quotient is always 1. So if we have 6 divided by 6, it equals 1. So dividing any number by itself, besides 0, the quotient is 1. If we have 6 things divided between 6 people, they all get one of them. Now that we know all of our division rules and multiplication properties, I can do some example problems. 
So I have 7 times 0 equals 0, 18 times 1 equals 18, and 9 divided by 9 equals 1. So my first example is the zero property of multiplication, which says anything times zero equals zero. Second problem, we start with 18 times 1, and it equals 18, so it keeps its identity. The 18 stays an 18. So identity property of multiplication. Then we have 9 divided by 9 equals 1. So since this is division, I know it's going to be one of my division rules. And since there's a 1 in it, I know it's 1's in division. So those are the example problems. Now you're going to try 3, and we'll check your work. Identify the property or rule shown by each equation. 8 divided by 1 equals 8. 7 times 5 equals 5 times 7, and 0 divided by 6 equals 0. Pause it, write which property or rule it is, and then unpause to check your work. Okay, the first one is division, and there's a 1 in it, so it's 1's in division. Next, we changed our factors around, so that is commutative property of multiplication. And our last one is division. It has zeros in it, so it's going to be zeros in division. Okay, here's your three problems. And we'll check these ones tomorrow. So number one, four times one equals four. Number two, nine times zero equals zero. And number three, 0 divided by 72 equals 0. Thank you for listening, and have a wonderful night.